is B to box select, select the rest of the tail. Three on the numpad, we hit control A and scale, control A again, scale so we get a bigger size. It's much more thicker. Let's go up here to the face. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna delete these two vertices. So select this vertice, so shift, select the other one, hit X, and we're gonna delete the vertices. So we just have one face thing here. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to shift select that one, hit W, subdivide, grab this bone, and hit Alt S, well not Alt S. Control A on the Z. No, let's show the scale on the Z. Hit Control A. Let's try the Y. Okay, there it goes. We scaled it. All right. So we're scaling that. And actually, that's kind of almost the shape that we want there. Hit Control A on the X and scale that like so. Control A on the X. Scale that like so. Control. A on the X, scale that like so. Okay, so we got the shape of the dragon. We're gonna control A on the Y, scale that up a little bit more. Okay, so we got the majority of the shape of the dragon. Grab this, hit G, hit O first, then G, and scroll your mouse. Scroll your mouse's wheel to turn up the fall off, so we can get more of the tail, and make that longer. Okay, so now. What we are going to do is we're going to make the feet actually we're going to move the body up so that the legs have more room. B to box select, click and drag, so we have all this. Grab this, hit now scroll your mouse wheel down so that we don't affect affect the legs as much. Bam, okay. So we have that. Now now we are going to come in here with the legs. And now the dragon has chicken legs, but we're going to fix that. So move these vertices up. Select, sh hold shift to select these vertices. Hit B to box select the rest. Those vertices are already selected. Hit B to box select the rest. Hit Alt A. We'll scale it. Well, actually, hit O, Alt A. There we go. When we hit O, we just turned off the. Uh, Proportional editing so that we can focus on this specific part right here. Now we're going to hold B to box select these vertices here. B to box select those vertices. Use the red mouse button and click and drag them away from the body. We're going to move these up. Hit 7 on the numpad so we can fix these feet up really quickly. Grab you, move you. Try to get the vertices into a position where the the polygons that you see they don't scrunch together, so that we can get better uh, deformation. Like I'm gonna try to fix this really quickly. Uh, this seems to be making it worse. Check in here. How about Control A, scaling it up? Okay. Okay, that works, and hit. we can always s select both of those, hit Alt M or the center. Select both of these, hit Alt M or the center. There we go. Now that that is much, that's much better. That's much better. Okay, grab this, change its direction. Okay, that's good. We'll do the same thing over here. Shift A, scale that up. Shift A, actually scale that up more. Select one of those. Alt M, merge. Select both of these. Hit Alt M, merge. Um, let's 
so now we have better we go here click mark root there we go got rid of some of the deformation there now we're gonna fix these bottom feet and we will be done with this skin modifier in just a minute so we'll just right now we're just manipulating the the vertices to get a shape of the foot that we want yeah, actually we're going to do one more extrusion on these so hit E to extrude removing actually <laughs> accidentally hit E instead of G E G G G G okay so we have the basic shape of the dragon. Now we'll hit tab. Now when you hit tab, check your topology so that you don't see any interlapping, like overlapping vertices. Like I see some right here. So hit tab. See if we can fix that. Let's see what happened. No, that made it worse. There. Okay. Let's see what happened. That made that worse. We can always Alt M merge. Okay. Uh, check your topology again. Let's see. Uh, this this side is really messed up. Let's see. Uh, why is it doing that? I do not know. Let's check Control A, scan it down, see what happens. Okay, so it's happening right on the other side, but this side is being a jerk. Let's try all the way scaling them down. Let's try. All right. Oh, it's not scaling that one. Okay. This. Okay, um, let's try moving this out to see what happens. Okay, well, okay, we fixed it. So, now what we're going to do, we're going to hit tab. Once again, check your topology, see if anything is wrong or if you want to change anything. Now we're going to go in our modifiers tab, and we're going to move this to make it the first one. And then we are going to check our topology again because sometimes when you do that, it changes things around. Like here, it changes some stuff around. Uh, so we're going to just move the vertices to fix that. Select both of those. Alt M. Okay, so that looks kind of fixed. Let me move these back together. I can move this up, move those back together. Alt A, let me control A and see if scaling them will help. Okay, that's actually not too shabby. Okay, let's check the bottoms. See what's happening. Um, uh, okay, so let's hit tab. And we're going to apply that modifier so now we have three our the skin modifier that we added is now applied so if we hit tab um, now when you apply the skin modifier actually since you're still in the since you didn't apply the subsurf modifier the vertices that you would have and the skin modifier are you know gone you can't manipulate them so what we're going to want to do is we're going to get rid of the mirror and hit tab and then we're going to apply the subdivision modifier that we have now we're still in see-through by hitting Z so now we're in um, we can see it as we would now we're going to hit tab. One thing I like to do is change the shading to smooth, so that now it's, it's a much smoother surface. Then we're going to hit one on our notepad. Hit tab again. Hit Z. Hit B to box select and select all of the vertices to the right. Yeah. Control Z, zoom in. Let's see. There are any um, 
you don't want any vertices selected in the middle so what we're going to do is we're going to hit shift select those, deselect those um, shoot. deselect deselect, deselect Okay. Control Z. It's in the middle now. Wait, no. Okay, it's not in the middle. Okay. So hit one. We're gonna hit X and delete the vertices. So now we basically just have half of our mesh here. We're gonna hit Z. Whoops. <laughs> hit Z come in here we're going to fix up some of the topology uh, manually so we control 7 to go in the bottom view and we're going to select all of these hit X and delete faces now we're dragging and we're going to hit G manipulate some of these in fact select all of these as well hit X and vertices okay so now vertices one so hit three wait no control seven hit E to extrude move that down and then hold shift select this wait no select this vertice this and this and hit F to make a face select this vertice here and what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control R on these vertices and select this so that we have another edge move there. And we're going to do select these, make a face, select these, make a face. You know what I did? So wrong. Hit, hit, just hit Control Z until we get to where we can fix our mistake. Okay, so stick with this. So select this. And this and this and that hit face control seven get a better view extrude these out control hit F okay just making sure hit F okay so we fixed that up now we're gonna come in here and fix the topology in this up so I gotta keep doing that. Uh, X del delete those vertices. Wait. Hmm. Let's make sure we're doing this correct. Okay. Select all of these right here. And delete those faces. So now we're going to come in and we're going to E to extrude here, extrude here, and extrude here. We're going to make faces. So, really, when you're modeling and things, the workflow isn't necessarily hard, as much hard as it is repetitive. So, when you get when you get the hang of it it's really simple so E to extrude, E to extrude again, hit G to adjust the angle E to extrude again, start making more faces F now holding all right click select all of those hit S hit X and then zero and that will straighten out all of those vertices there now we're going to come to the front view hit tab make sure you make sure in your modifiers tab go to add modifier and go to mirror and hit clipping and make sure you move your vertices together so that they're stuck together so now we have our dragon base model. In the next tutorial we're going to be making some more adjustments and we might get started sculpting. 
on the next tutorial. So thank you for watching 